Hello Capricorn, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your March 2021 tarot reading for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy or message for the month. So what do we have for Capricorn please? Angels, Spirits, Guides, message for our lovely Capricorns, March 2021. What is the overarching energy or message? Thank you, that flew out. Capricorn, we have the Three of Swords. I'm going to clarify that. Okay, two cards have come out. So we have the Moon and we have the Emperor. So what do we have for Capricorn, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Capricorns. Thank you. Yeah, we have recovery. Okay. So I'm going to pull four cards. Roughly works out as one card per week, Capricorn. No divine timing and all that. The messages may well overlap. Then we'll clarify the cards. As you know by now, we always do, and go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. Okay, so what do we have for Capricorn, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Capricorns. March 2021, thank you. Thank you, that flew out. We have the Ten of Swords. I mean, it doesn't surprise me with the Three of Swords appearing. Um, we have the Empress, which is very beautiful, Capricorn. Yeah, the world. And Knight of Swords, okay. So let's clarify the cards and go deeper into the message for Capricorn, thank you. What do we have for Capricorn, please? Angel Spirits Guides, can we clarify the cards on the table for Capricorn? Oh, I'm just going to take the one that's turned up. So we have the sun. Very nice with the Ten of Swords. Okay. Temperance clarifies the Empress. The <laughs> a lovely energy, Capricorn. The Nine of Pentacles. And again, it's Earth energy, which is your energy. Uh, the Knight of Swords. We have Strength. And the Magician, lots of Major Arcana in this reading. It feels like a big month for some of you. The Major Arcana are the big energies. And you have a lot of big energies going on this month, I have to say. It comes when you've been tested. Three of Swords is a testing energy. It can sometimes represent the test in a relationship. Saturn in Libra. Um, something that has hurt i mean it's caused emotional pain there's levels to this card disappointment hurt third party situation heartbreak a truth that cuts deeply you know that kind of energy but it feels for some of you you know it could have been through it could have been sometimes the moon can be a where things all was not what it seems so it can well be down to deception something or someone not being who they seem to be you know that can be that kind of energy and you know it's interesting because this can be a card of hidden blessings definitely this energy i'm getting capricorn i'm definitely getting this energy of you will see it's a blessing in disguise you will see that whatever this hurt was 
with this three of swords it was a blessing in disguise because the moon is you know you're still being watched over by the universe even though you don't see it in this in this energy even though there's lack of clarity in how you move forward this can be to do with emotions feelings surrender just trust your intuition now because you are absolutely being guided forward now we have this is a card of pisces this is a card of aries so you might have been dealing with an aries or a pisces might be part of your sign as well we have the emperor here so if it's not a person because this can sometimes be probably more of a masculine energy the emperor and certainly with the empress appearing it could be it feels like it's been to do with a relationship so it feels for some of you something or someone wasn't what they seem to be but the emperor as an energy is also about being in your power taking control back of something that has been controlling and testing you you know so it feels like some kind of power shift but it can be a person it feels like some kind of person with the empress and emperor appearing there's definitely recovery here capricorn as well um an opportunity now to recover love that energy and it's even the first two cards that i'm seeing that is absolutely tying in in sync with what the cards are saying because we have the ten of swords which is being wounded deeply something that's flawed you could be unexpected someone was not all what they seem maybe for some of you this can be about betrayal being stabbed in the back unexpected hurt from somebody you didn't expect it from um being wounded i mean you know there's levels to the ten of swords but it can be a tough energy however it is a ten and in 10 in tarot is the, the, the pain that was caused can be over now. It's time to release the pain. It's time to surrender. Because for some of you, the sun is beginning to rise in the distance, pushing away that darkness from within. And it feels for some of you, now is the time. And you see the sun fully risen here as well, which is why I like these two cards together. Because this is the opportunity you have now to come through the other side of that wall, the obstacle, the challenge, the hurt, the pain, that I feel somebody has caused you in a relationship. Um, this is about, it's about to get so much better. When the sun comes out, it's a card of positivity, new growth, warmth, vitality, feeling good good news celebration happiness joy again and being on the right path this child looks innocent but he's learnt the lessons of what this obstacle taught them so it feels for some of you there is growth open to you now um release this is a liberation card it's also a card of restoration healing reconnecting to who you are but with full experience and understanding of what you've been through but it's empowering you it's not keeping you stuck anymore it's not keeping you behind that wall you're actually coming through the other side of it so absolutely beautiful energy stepping into your light once more i feel that there is an energy of adjustment of being patient with yourself of finding the way through what has been probably a difficult situation but you are finding the way through here temperance interestingly enough comes after the death card in the major arcana could have been after it feels like after some kind of ending it feels for some of you you've been dealing with something ending in your life and the empress is such a lovely energy here you know and the, uh, definitely this energy of, of adapting to again the temperance card can be an experiential energy the things that you've experienced through something maybe ending or needing to adjust your life and adapt your life this is how you're adapting your beliefs you know the beliefs that you once held before through experience are being adjusted now and adapted and you're finding your flow once more finding your balance once more making peace with what's gone you know and adjusting your life and adapting to moving forward it's a lovely lovely energy the temperance energy um and we have the empress again this feeling capricorn of you know the potential around you for planting new seeds is strong this is a great signal of new growth um embracing the new but I feel for some of you, 
this is this is it feels like the the time is right to plant new seeds the time is right to adapt your life now plant new seeds for future growth the empress can represent you know uh, the birth of something new or the potentially birth of something new so um could be in terms of money career can be in terms of new relationships but she's also an energy of somebody who understands how to she doesn't feel lack she's a bountiful energy she's a nurturing energy she is an energy of somebody who understands how to be connected to who she is um so definitely in this energy it feels for some of you capricorn this is a time for you to adjust reconnect in who you are embrace new possibilities now and um, plant new seeds for your future because the time is ripe everything is ready for you to 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 create a new reality for yourself and adapt you know it feels very beautiful here very bountiful as well she is a, an abundant energy there's final closure here Definitely an energy of what has tested you. And again, Saturnian energy here. We had Saturnian energy with the Three of Swords. What tested you here? You're done with. You've learned the lessons, but it's not holding you hostage anymore. You're stepping through to a new phase of your life. It's a lovely energy. Um, it's an energy of accomplishment, victory, conquering that which kept you stuck that which kept you flawed for a period of time this is coming through the other side of it conquering it it feels very beautiful it's also a very good card of of goal achievement some kind of achievement here so you know again we have the the nine of pentacles which is a card of money as well so it can well be for some of you there could be some financial achievement here this month um because this can be a personal achievement card in terms of money career the nine of pentacles too fulfilling your potential but this is also about fulfilling your potential in terms of self-worth self-capability standing in your own right in your own independence and feeling pretty good and empowered about it you know providing for yourself and acknowledging your own sense of self self-worth you know it's a beautiful beautiful energy of the nine of pentacles so it feels that there has been some kind of relationship challenge that you've experienced capricorn but definitely this energy of finally that is the end of the situation and i'm not going back i mean there's a finality to this so for some of you it feels that you are standing in your own right in your own you know empowered energy here feeling pretty good about it and that's what the sun is saying they, there's so much better to come for you things are going to look up even though you might not see it here even though there's lack of clarity with that moon energy the knight of swords um, and the strength card now the strength card is a card of leo the strength card is about connecting to your own power, your own strength. And when do we need strength? Well, we discover our strength and power when we face adversity, when we face challenge, when we face obstacles. And, you know, the strength card is about being in your power to overcome something now. And it definitely feels you're dealing with this. It's a process of dealing with this situation in March but you know this can also be about your thought patterns as well you know mastering your thoughts how you perceive something how you think about something there's definitely this energy of just dealing with it it feels like the final residue of thinking of something that may have challenged you negatively and what have you and the swords energy the knight of swords is about clarity finding direction making progress moving forward inspired action you know that is the knight of swords energy so it feels for some of you any kind of like challenges in your thought patterns or behavior they're absolutely being resolved you know you are finding direction you are getting clarity in how you're moving forward and bringing change to your situation this can also be about news and um, 
messages, you know, some piece of information coming here that is bringing swift change. Because again, the magician is a communication energy as well. So there could be some communication towards the end of the month here, Capricorn, that brings some kind of swift change in your circumstances. I mean, that could be to do with, with any area. Um, the magician is a new path unfolding. Um, so there's definitely an energy of getting clarity in terms of the direction that you're going in and what you want to manifest. Remember, he is all about focused intention. What is it that I want to change? Because now is the time to bring change to my situation, big change. Because the magician is, you have all the resources, the power, the capability, the focus, um, you know, the pentacle, the cup, the sword, the wand on the table, all the practical resources that you need combined with, you know, the rod that conducts the energy of the universe blessing you to, to manifest and work your magic to create um, whatever you set your intentions on. So it's a lovely, lovely energy of, it sometimes happens, the magician is about timing, uh, the time, what is it that you want to manifest because now is the time to manifest. Again, there's such potential around you to plant new seeds. This is about taking inspired action, um, ready for that new beginning, new start, new path unfolding. Um, he's under, somebody who understands how to change base metal to gold, an idea to reality, um, a negative to a positive. So definitely by believing in your own power, your own capability here as well, you have the power to bring positive transformation to your situation now and create a new path. He is a new beginning energy. So it feels very empowering this month. Definitely I can see recovery in the cards. It definitely feels like you've been, I mean, the, the, the Empress and the Emperor feel like it's almost kind of like a power couple. Um, but it, it feels in this situation, Capricorn, are you going to be okay on your own? Yes. You know, are you strong enough and capable enough? Yes. Do you have the resourcefulness to create a new path for yourself and a new plant new seeds? Absolutely. I mean, there's absolutely beautiful, powerful energies here that are just reminding you to connect to who you are. Absolutely beautiful. I don't normally do this, but I'm going to pull one more card. I don't normally do this for the monthlies, but let's pull one more advice card. Any other advice for Capricorn, please? Any other advice for Capricorn, please, for March 2021? Thank you. Okay. So I have, yeah, we have the Ten of Wands, which can be about burdens, um, carrying burdens. And it's a Ten, which is all about releasing burdens now. Something is has the opportunity to be over, release the burdens. The Page of Pentacles can be a card of manifesting a new path. Um, that could be money career, that could be in terms of what's going to bring you stability, security, um, opportunity, you know, what resonates for you. And the Six of Cups, it feels in this situation, Capricorn, it feels like you're reconnecting to who you are. You know, Six of Cups can be about revisiting the past, but it can also be about if there is nostalgia or if you're looking back. The message here is, is time to release the burdens and look forward, reconnect to who you are, find your inner joy again. Because, yeah, Nine of Cups is, you know, a card of a wish coming true, but it's a card of feeling happy and content in your own right. It can be a celebratory energy, but it's a card of somebody who uses that red hat, which is, remember the red in tarot is inspiration and action. Um, so inspired mental acuity, mental uh, thoughts and acting on them to really bring great happiness and fulfillment and contentment into your life. And the nines generally are solitary figures. They sit in their own right, when they're, whether they're in a relationship or not, and it feels that there's an element of independence here. Sitting in your own happiness, your own um, achievements, your own resourcefulness, uh, creating your own happiness, you know. So it definitely feels that there are greater, happier things to come for you. And that's what the cards are saying. 
that could span into April obviously because I've pulled more cards but it definitely feels that there is some kind of process where things are absolutely looking up here okay <clears throat> So yeah, when the magician is, is appearing, you have the opportunity to, you know, change something from negative to positive, an idea to reality. It is about that focus and staying with unwavering faith in your capability and magic to make it happen. Okay, so final message for Capricorn. I like this because the purity energy, I mean, you can see the white in that card. It's a cleansing, it's a purification, it's a cathartic energy, you know, uh, purging the past, that sense of renewal and rebirth. So we have purity, always trust the purity in your heart. Look inside your heart and within it you will find the answer to your question. Nice energy there. So I hope you enjoyed the reading Capricorn. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.